Geotex Geotex, Inc. Known until 2019 as DataWind, Inc. DataWind manufactures low-cost tablets and sells these primarily in India, Nigeria, the United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States of America. The company is known for its development of the Akash Tablet Computer, which is the world's cheapest tablet at US $37.99 slash unit. The Akash Tablet was developed for India's Ministry for Human Resource Development, MHRD. DataWind manufactures a series of mobile, internet devices, such as Pocket Surfer smartphones, Ubi Surfer netbooks, and Ubislate tablets, and formerly the Akash tablets on behalf of the government of India. The company's devices use a patented web delivery platform for faster and low-cost internet access on mobile networks. DataWind was listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange from 2014 to October 2018. It was delisted from the TSX Venture Exchange in 2021. DataWind has offices in Montreal, Mississauga, London, Delhi and Amritsar. At the shareholder meeting in April 2019, it was agreed to change the name of the company to Geotex Inc., and the change took effect that month. On 10 June 2021, the company was declared bankrupt. History DataWind was founded in Montreal in 2001 by brothers Sunit and Raja Tuli. Sunit and Raja Tuli grew up in northern Alberta, Canada. Sunit Tuli is a civil engineer who graduated from the University of Toronto. Raja is a computer engineer who graduated from the University of Alberta. Sunit Tuli is DataWind's chief executive officer and is responsible for its vision, strategy, and execution. Raja Tuli is the company's co-chairman and chief technology officer. He is also an inventor with dozens of patents across a broad range of technologies related to the Internet, to imaging, and to energy sustenance. DataWind's product range includes Pocket Surfer smartphones and UBI Slate tablets. The company has a portfolio of 14 international patents for its web delivery platform, which serves as the basis for its product innovations. The company manufactures markets and sells UBI Slate tablets to consumers worldwide and also provides a year of free internet browsing in various countries. In collaboration with the Government of India, the company has also developed the Akish tablet, which has gained worldwide attention for being the cheapest tablet. With its research and development based in Montreal, the company launched its first products in 2004 and their products were sold primarily in the United Kingdom. In 2004, the company was described as a small tech shop marketing its key product, the Pocket Surfer, a PDA slash mobile phone slash web browsing device. Several iterations of the Pocket Surfer followed. In 2009, the Indian government had pledged a low cost laptop to improve the quality of education within the country. However, the development process was beset by delays until DataWind won the tender for the tablet in late 2011. In the same year, DataWind made its entry into the Indian market with the launch of the Akash tablet, developed for the Indian government to enhance the quality of education. To enable ubiquitous, nationwide internet use, the Indian government announced at the October 2011 launch of the Akash tablet that it will be offered to students at a subsidized price of $35 and to the public as the Ubislate 7 for $60. At the subsidized price, the tablet would cost the same as a pair of shoes or a basic mobile phone. Some analysts claim that the tablet will not only have a positive impact on the education sector, but will also lead to positive changes in healthcare and other sectors besides improving internet penetration in the country. In his study, Rajat Kathuria, external consultant at the Indian Council for Research on International Economic Relations, ICRIER, stated that the Indian economy could grow 10.8% faster with every 10% increase in Internet and broadband connections in the country. The Ubislate tablets were commercially launched in April 2012, by which time bookings for the device had exceeded 3 million units, more than 10 times the size of the total market for tablets in India in the previous year. Since the commercial launch of the Ubislate tablets, 
the company has been among the top three suppliers of tablets in India, according to Cybermedia Research. In the first quarter of 2013, Datawind dominated the Indian tablet market, with the largest market share of tablets sold in India, excluding the Akash devices that were to be supplied to the government. Going forward, the company has plans to expose itself to tablet markets in the UK, the US and Canada. Datawind is also working with governments, NGO and distributors in Latin American and African countries where its products are being deployed. In 2012, Forbes magazine named the CEO of Datawind, Sunny Tooley, among the Impact 15 list of classroom revolutionaries who use innovative technologies to reinvent education for students and teachers throughout the world. On 26 April 2012, Datawind launched Ubislate 7 Plus and 7C tablets in India, by which time 3 million units had already been booked. In 2013, according to Cyber Media Research India's quarterly market report, during the first quarter of 2013, as published in the Times of India, Datawind had a market share of 15.3%. The company pulled ahead of rivals Micromax and Apple, although this strong market did not include the Akash series of tablets. In July 2014, Datawind's shares traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol DW. W. In November 2016, Datawind launched its state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hyderabad. By October 2018, the company was delisted from the Toronto Stock Exchange after its share price had fallen to two cents per share. Technology Datawind's low-cost devices allow access to the Internet at lower data costs and faster speeds across congested mobile wireless networks by using the company's patented data compression technology. In a 2011 interview, the company stated that it would lower the price of the tablet by developing patents to shift the device's processing burden to backend servers in the cloud, Datawind identified the need for low-cost devices for web access as a means to provide an alternative to increasing costs of mobile Internet devices caused by the corresponding increases. Datawind's web delivery platform reduces bandwidth consumption by creating a parallel processing environment, which shifts the burden of memory and processing power to back-end servers, thus allowing users to access the web with a lower-cost device and lower data costs. Datawind's web delivery platform serves as the basis for its product innovations. Based on a patent portfolio of 14 U.S. and international patents, Datawind's technology accelerates the delivery of web content across wireless networks and reduces data consumption by a factor of 10. Datawind's acceleration and data reduction is accomplished through the use of proprietary algorithms on its application servers which constitute a gateway between the primary Internet-based content server, selected by the user, and the end user. Datawind claims that its patented acceleration technology allows its devices to deliver the fastest mobile web experience across cellular networks. A product review by PC Magazine of the Pocket Surfer stated that it's the only device that allows users to browse the web on a GPRS connection with any alacrity. In 2005, CNET stated that it was impressed with Pocket Surfer's page load times. Various media outlets conducted live speed tests on television with competitive products, including some on 3G networks, which resulted in DataWind's Pocket Surfer beating its competition in terms of page download time. Business Model Model DataWind's business model focuses on providing to entry-level users a cost-effective web access device with free Internet access. The company, as a mobile, virtual network operator MVNO, purchases wholesale access to mobile data from wireless network operators or as part of a bundling relationship in order to offer free mobile Internet access to its customers. DataWind's web delivery platform reduces bandwidth consumption. In November 2012, in an interview with the New York Times, Datawind's CEO explained that the company's business model was focused on pursuing price-sensitive, entry-level consumers on foregoing hardware margins and on driving a recurring revenue stream 
i.e. after sales revenue from network operators content subscriptions to device more DataWinds advertising revenues are generated by loading applications on its devices. The company has formulated a full-service ecosystem of revenue streams that drive down the cost of hardware. DataWind has partnered with numerous firms as part of a comprehensive supplier and partner strategy to build applications and generate content for its devices. Content, Applications and Advertising-Based Partnerships DataWind has partnerships with multiple firms to develop installed, free content for its devices. The content includes educational, language-based, interactive smart books, multimedia, games, and productivity tools. On 20 November 2013, according to an article published in the Financial Express, DataWind, DataWind announced content partnerships with the Indian Express Group and Yahoo. According to this agreement, the Ubislate 7 Plus and the Ubislate 7C will come with the Indian Express News application, and customers of these new tablets will receive a 50% discount on annual subscriptions of the Indian Express and the Financial Express. The tablets will also come with Yahoo! Cricket, the Yahoo! Mail application. Yahoo! India will be the default browser homepage for the Ubislate 7 Plus. On December 3, 2013, DataWind partnered with IT firm Happiest Minds Technologies. Under the partnership, Happiest Minds will develop DataWind's App Store, which will be designed for first-time Android users. Network Operator Partnerships In July 2009, DataWind collaborated with Vodafone to offer a bundled SIM and GPRS modem within the price of its pocket surfer devices thus allowing free access to the Internet across the United Kingdom. In December 2013, BSNL, one of India's largest network operators, entered a partnership with DataWind to offer its services on the company's tablets. In March 2015, DataWind partnered with Reliance Communications to offer Bundled. In September 2015, DataWind entered a partnership with Telenor India, a global, mobile network operator with major Indian operations to offer unlimited internet browsing for one year on all DataWind devices. Partnerships for Social Causes DataWind has partnered with a number of governments and non-governmental organizations in GEO. Subsequent to the initial launch of the Akash tablet for higher learning institutions, Kapil Sibyl, the Indian Minister of Human Resources and Development, announced that Akish tablets will be provided free to all 220 million students in India over the next few years. During the 2011 elections in Thailand, the few Thai party promised free tablets for all students, with numerous placards promising one tablet PC per child. Analysts estimated that approximately 20 million units would be required. A senior figure said, that the few Thai party would fulfill its promise by importing the $35 Android tablets from India. Contests Contests DataWind has sponsored a number of contests. On 29 November 2011, the NASCOM Foundation partnered with DataWind to announce a contest wherein 10 NGO will have an opportunity to win 20 tablets each, mainly to improve their operations and program implementation procedures. To win these tablets, the organizations had to showcase how they can best use the Akash tablet for promoting education, health, and livelihood. On 11 January 2013, DataWind and the United Nations, in partnership with Ignite Education, American Digital University, Applications for Good Blue World, Cat in Woods, and Equal Access International, launched a contest for developing socially responsible applications to empower women. The contest measured apps from the perspective of leadership and mentorship, jobs and entrepreneurship, and education and conflict resolution. The winners of the contest were the My Rights application, the Pictosan application, and the Talking English application. Hackathons To develop a new generation of software programmers who would focus on applications for humanitarian causes DataWind regularly sponsors hackathons. In 2012 and 2013, 
DataWin sponsored two hackathons with Geeks Without Bounds, an accelerator for humanitarian project. Non-governmental organizations and geo. DataWin partners with and supports a number of charitable and non-government organizations to deploy its technology for humanitarian causes. On 23 October 2013, in an article published in the Washington Post, Chris Evans, a renowned philanthropist, donated 100 Akesh tablets to Raleigh schools in Wake County, North Carolina for its Smart Summer program of summer camp that prepares disadvantaged African-American children for school. Ubislate tablets that contain science and mathematics applications proved to be effective learning tools. DataWind also partnered with Virginia Advanced Study Strategies, VAS, a nonprofit organization, to launch a contest in which six school districts enrolled 85 students in either of two coding courses to compete for a DataWind tablet by completing either course and developing an application. In November 2013, DataWind and World Vision Canada collaborated to supply $40 tablets in African countries. As part of their ongoing field testing at the community level, World Vision used the Ubislate tablets in Niger and Rwanda to collect data at the project level to monitor change and to measure the impact and the effectiveness of their development in the areas of health, education to families, and aid to children in need. Products Pocket Surfer Series The Pocket Surfer is DataWind's handheld mobile network access device. The first version of the Pocket Surfer was launched in 2004. The device featured a QWERTY keyboard and a 5.3 inch diagonal screen. Reviews for the Pocket Surfer had been mixed as PC Magazine's review of the product exclaimed that it's the only device that lets you browse the web on a GPRS connection with any alacrity and seen it in 2005 state. In February 2007, at the 3GSM Forum in Barcelona, DataWind introduced the improved Pocket Surfer 2. It was described as the world's fastest handheld internet device. The sleek mobile device offered free mobile internet access and provided a desktop-like experience with a 640-pixel wide color screen that displayed web pages with HTML, graphics, JavaScript, Ajax, frames, and other complex web functionality. The Pocket Surfer 2 includes a built-in GPS receiver for location-based services with page load times of less than 7 seconds. Engadget referred to the original Pocket Surfer devices as iconic in December 2013. On the 10th anniversary of the launch of the original Pocket Surfer, the company entered the smartphone market with the launch of the Pocket Surfer range of smartphones in India. Featuring 5-inch touchscreens, these dual-SIM smartphones were available at an extremely low price point. In reaction to the launch of the smartphone in India, the Economic Times exclaimed Akesh maker Data Wind enters smartphone market, breaks all price points in March 2015. The company launched its range of low-cost smartphones, the Pocket Surfer. DataWind has partnered with Reliance Communication, one of the largest telecom operators in the India, to offer one year of free internet browsing along with its devices. Pocket Surfer Smartphone Range You buy Surfer Netbooks the UBI Surfer is DataWind's range of netbooks. In April 2010, DataWind launched UBI Surfer netbooks in India. The UBI Surfer name is an amalgamated form of the two words, ubiquitous and surfing. The netbook offers mobile web browsing with an integrated modem and an SIM card slot. The UBI Surfer supports both CDMA WUNCs and GSM networks. The device offers Wi Fi and LAN connectivity an inbuilt cellular modem, and an embedded SIM card that allows access to the Internet with a mobile phone signal. The UBI Surfer is also equipped with an ARM processor that runs at 450 MHz with 128 MB RAM, 1 GB flash memory, and up to 50 GB of online storage. The UBI Surfer has a 7-inch bright TFT screen that supports an 800s for 180 pixel resolution. The device is also equipped with the UBI Surfer browser, which allows web page delivery times of under 7 seconds. The UBI Surfer 9 was made available in India at a price of Rs. 
7,999, which also included a one-year free Internet browsing plan. On 7 April 2011, DataWind unveiled its new version of the mobile Internet device, the UBI Surfer 9 3G in London, England. This netbook offered users free Internet access in the UK and low-cost roaming in Europe and USA. It had a 9-inch screen and weighed 700. Its free usage model eliminated the user from any form of binding contracts, activation fees or credit checks. Akish Tablets Tablets In 2009, the National Mission on Education, through Information Communication Technology and ICT initiative of the Indian government cited that a lot could be done for education using information and communication. An initiative by India's Ministry for Human Resource Development MHRD was launched to procure a low-cost mobile with access device with built-in features ensuring that technologies and content were accessible to everyone. In late 2011, DataWind won the Indian government tender to design the Akish tablet computers with an initial trial run of 100,000 units. Upon its launch, the Wall Street Journal stated that the Akish was the world's cheapest tablet. On 5 October 2011, the Akish was launched by Kapil Sibyl, the then Minister of Human Resource and Development. DataWind designed, developed, and manufactured this first version of Akish on the specification set by IAT Rajasthan. Its extremely low price garnered global attention, and the tablet is known as the world's cheapest tablet device. On 11 November 2012, President of India, Pranab Mukherjee launched the Akish 2, an improved version of the Akish tablet. This updated new version had a better processor based on the ARM Cortex-EI architecture and had a multi-touch projective capacitive screen in place of a resistive one. The Akish 2 Ubislate 7 Psi was considered the world's most cost-effective web access device. It utilized a 1 GHz processor of the same caliber as the original iPad and contained 512 MB of RAM twice that of the original iPad. The tablet supported a flash memory of 4 GB that can be supplemented by up to 32 GB with the use of a micro SD card. In addition, it was loaded with Wi-Fi supported connectivity and also an external 3G and an IVDO dongle for mobile broadband data. Other features included Google's Android 4.0 operating system, a VGA camera, G sensors, an internal microphone, speakers, and a headphone jack. The Akash 2 is considered as a full-featured tablet computer. Ubislate tablets. Let's tablets. 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 Let's 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 let's. The Ubi Slates are a series of Android tablets with touch screens that are also capable of performing as smartphones and are built for mobile web access, multimedia content, Android games, and applications. The Ubi Slate tablet has a high definition video coprocessor for high quality video and comes equipped with DataWind's Ubi Surfer browser that accelerates web page delivery. The device includes Wi Fi and GPRS connectivity as well as allows for mobile internet access through SIM and phone connectivity. Optional 3G modems are also supported via USB. In addition to a micro SD card slot, a full-sized USB port is integrated into the unit allowing pen drives, external keyboards, webcams, dongles, and other inexpensive accessories can also be attached. On 26 April 2012, DataWind launched Ubislate 7 Plus, and 7C tablets in India. In the same month, the company declared that it had 3 million pre bookings for Ubislate tablets. The commercial version of Akash was released online as the Ubi Slate 7 tablet PC at INR 3000 US $46 and the Ubislate 7 Plus tablet PC at INR 3005 US $54 12 25 on 11 November 2012 with plans to offer it at a subsidized cost for students of INR 11. In October 2013, DataWind launched Ubi Slate 7 CX, Ubi Slate 3G7, and Ubi Slate 9 Psi tablets in India.
In December 2013, DataWind officially launched three products from its range of UBI Slate tablets in Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom. UBI Slate tablet range equals equals references equals equals equals.